Hi, I'm Jenna on behalf of The Art Workshop. Today we're gonna learn about Claude Monet and make this cool water lilies painting. Claude Monet is very well known for his paintings of water lilies. In Paris, France, he has an entire room dedicated to his water lily paintings. There are benches in the middle that you can sit and be fully immersed with his paintings all around you. Monet painted the impression or feeling of something. How do you think he felt about his pond full of floating flowers? Can you tell by looking at his colors, lines, and shapes? Does he think that it's cool, beautiful, and relaxing, or hot, exciting, and energetic? Let's look carefully at the painting and notice the many colors that he used in his painting of the water. It's not just blue. Can you find the names and colors that you see in the painting? Are most of the colors cool or hot? It's time to gather some supplies and cover your workspace with a trash bag or newspaper. Let's get started with our flowers. You can use a paper towel, fold the short side over to the other side diagonally and cut off the extra, fold it in half, fold in half again, and trim the top open edge. When you open it up, it will resemble a flower. You can also use a coffee filter as well and fold that up. And there are a few different ways to add color to this. You can drip watercolor paint or food coloring or color with a soluble marker and add water with your finger or a brush to make it blend like magic. Once your flowers are finished, set them to the side so that they can dry and gather your other materials for your pond drawing. You'll need a slightly thicker piece of paper if you have it. You can even use the back of an old piece of artwork that you've already created something on. I'm gonna start using some oil pastels. If you don't have oil pastels, you can use crayons or you can use markers and watercolor paints, whatever supplies you have around the house. I'm just demonstrating a little bit of everything so that you can see how it all works. Monet used long, calming lines in his artwork. So you'll want to make sure to make wavy lines that are long and smooth across your artwork. You can use oil pastels, crayons, markers, and water to create this effect. Also watercolor paints if you have them. The cool thing about the markers is that you can use the marker first and paint over it with your finger or a paintbrush and water, or wet your paper slightly and then color on top. Depending on the thickness of your paper, you'll wanna be careful about how much water you add. What other details could you add? Could you add fish or other things that you might find in a pond? It's up to you to use your creativity and to be a problem solver. As you're finishing up the background of your artwork, let's talk a little bit about Claude Monet, our founding father of Impressionism. He loved to paint the same subject over and over many times at different times of day and different times of year. Keep adding to your background and blending the colors. Remember, he used many colors in his water, not just blue. I love how the lines in my artwork look nice and calm, just like Monet's water lilies painting. Now let's work on the depth of color. Let's make sure that we really activate those watercolors if you're using those by adding water and swirling it around so you get some deeper colors on your paper. Let your paper dry a little and then paint or draw with marker or oil pastel some lily pads for your flowers to sit on. You're gonna need a little bit of white glue or a stapler to add your flowers to your paper. Push down on the center of your flower and twist on the outside, dip it in the glue and stick it on your artwork. Now it's time to stand back and enjoy your beautiful artwork inspired by the art of Claude Monet. Thanks for joining us. Check us out at theartworkshopinc.net.